Hey everyone, Andre here with a quick update on the Super Mario RPG Remake because one of our fans, Keith the Creature, pointed out to us that the Japanese website has updated with some brand new pictures from the game that wasn't shown off in the trailer at all. So these are showcasing new scenes, new mini games, all kinds of things for details that we didn't really know about outside of the fact that they'd probably be here given how faithful the update it seems to be. So we're going to go through those pictures, I'm going to talk about them a little bit, and uh, let's get to it. So right off the bat, we have this carousel, uh, some of which uh, contains some images from the trailer but also contains some new scenes as well and that starts off with this picture from outside boosters tower uh showcasing the scene after what we saw in the trailer in which bowser breaks down the door and we can actually see uh that that not only is the door missing right now but that remnants of it can be found inside the doorway so clearly it's still very faithful to the original game although this time like with other scenes you've seen in the game uh we can see the entire cast comes out rather than just mario and bowser talking to each other which is kind of nice other than that it's pretty much a one-to-one -one recreation minus all the new details and you know visual upgrades they enhance the game with so we're going to move on to the next picture which uh is a of a force scene just before the boyer battle that we again also saw in the trailer um and again seems very faithful to the original game including the fact that we have uh boyer's arrow minions flanking him on either side including this guy right behind gino containing or holding on to the star i think he just found the star if my memory is correct so you know gino's like yo give me my star back i'm gonna fight you for it and that's what's happening here before the battle we saw in the trailer i believe that's a sequence of events it's been a while since i played mario rpg but hey that won't be the case for much longer right so again looking great next we have a head-on shot of the sword that comes down from the sky of course we did see a scene uh similar to this from the trailer in which mario is like being flung back out of the castle but this time we get the head-on look a closer up look and what i really like about this image in particular is how much it evokes that uh, mid 90s style of CG graphics they use more than almost anything else that we saw in the trailer. Um, I think this really struck a really good balance of evoking the original imagery while also updating it at the same time. This really could have been almost a render for the original game. Um, but yeah, I really love how this looks. Uh, aside from that, not much, not much too else, not much, not too much else new to note here that we hadn't already uh, in our analysis that we posted earlier. So let's go and move on to some more pictures. Now these, I think, have all been pretty much from the trailer, if not are almost identical to, th to scenes from the trailer. But if we scroll on farther down, we do get a new battle image here. Uh, this one showcases what I believe is an action command block, where we can now see a new detail in which a blue shield pops up around Mario, like a force field, which I guess is what prevents the damage. So. This seems to be just a smart overlay, just making it clear that, hey, you blocked the, dam the, the damage, good job, this is why you're not taking any, you know, any HP hits. So, yeah, I really like that visual addition that they're adding. Outside of that, nothing else too new to, to uh, talk about here, although I do want to mention, I just love how the mountains, like, have this fuzzy, grassy look to them now, which they didn't have in the more plastic look of the original game. It looks a little bit more naturalistic. Uh, beyond that, we have a couple more battle scenes which are similar. I'm not sure they were exactly from the uh, trailer, but uh, we can see the shy guy being flung back along with his lizard guy taking damage. And then we can see Bowser, Mallow, and Mario are all engaged in this battle. So outside of that, not too much else to note here that, you know, we hadn't already seen. And then we also have another similar scene, if not identical scene, from the trailer in which we can see Peach using a frying pan against a Kamek in Bowser's castle. Again, I just love how this all looks. Uh, now moving on to some more definitively new scenes, not these, but down here we have a trifecta of new pictures not seen in the trailer. So first up, this is from the minigame section, two of which we had seen in the trailer, but this first image is brand new, not seen before outside of the original Mario RPG game, in which we can see the river minigame does in fact return, in, in which Mario is jumping on the barrels to collect coins and can bump into the barrels, I imagine, to swap paths between two different rows of barrels, just like in the original game. Um, so yeah, again, looking great, very faithful. You can see it's still a straight corridor as before, um, but this minigame is in fact back, and uh, I'm really liking how the water now looks here. Again, just updated in a pleasant way. Um, next, we have the uh, minecart that was from the trailer. We also have the booster minigame from the trailer. But then we have another look at Yoshi's Island, this time actually engaged in a race against Boshi. So we saw Boshi before, but we didn't see it in race form. So now we get a better look at the full race track here. And uh, looking great. And I imagine you still eat cookies like before. Yoshi's cookies, of course, to get a speed boost to take on uh, Bo uh, Boshi. 
Now, I don't know if it's just me, I always sucked at this game. I can never beat this game except for through pure chance by eating cookies, mashing the buttons, and praying and hoping it worked. So I wonder if we're, they're going to tweak it all here, maybe give it a visual indicator, but I'm just speculating there's no sign of that here. Although, interestingly, this, this does appear to be pretty late in the game because I believe we have a married couple here from Mary Moore that only show up later on. So it seems like whoever took this picture returned to it after, um, you know, going to Mary Moore. Also, look, note the detail of the water around the uh, island here on the top left, which I don't believe you could actually ever see in the original island or in the original versions. It makes it feel more like an island as it was meant to be than it did when you were actually there. Aside from that, nothing else too, too new to note here, so we're going to move on to the final picture, for me, perhaps the most exciting picture, being the confirmation that the epic Game Boy game returns. I say Game Boy, but it's, it's funny because it's actually based on, of course, Mario World, um, where you play as this weird scorpion thing, shooting stars at the shells that bounce in from the screen. But it's actually a Game Boy because um, we can see the gray border around it, and the green power light in this case should have been red. Uh, and, and uh, of the Game Boy exterior, and in the original game, the there's actually a character that plays this Game Boy before he gives it to you, as a mini game you can access at any time. So yeah, it's just a fun little side bonus. It's completely optional, but it's nice to see it back. And it seems like, again, just like in the original game, which means there's probably a second version of it, too, that takes place in the sky. I forget which one comes first, but yeah, again, I love that it's here. It's a fun minigame. It'll be fun competing for new high scores, you know, in general this time. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to see all these minigames back on top of other ones not disclosed yet. And I wonder, you know, if... Uh, rather from the original game. I imagine they're all back, but we can't confirm that for sure yet, such as the, you know, climbing up the hill after Booster, um, there's plenty of others I can't remember, but I do hope, I really do hope that they're adding something. I mean, there's plenty of mini games already, there's no shortage of them, but you know, I would love if there's one brand new one here at least too, right? So, yeah, there you go, that's a look at the brand new screenshots, nothing earth shattering here, again, they are all in the same vein as what we expected, considering it seems to be almost a one-to-one -one remake with a few enhancements outside of the visuals, um, which do look great. The only other thing I wanted to note here, and it's a very minor thing, may not mean anything, but throughout the website, they, they only mentioned to the, the main collectibles being the star pieces um, in a very general sense, being like, you know, hey, go find the star pieces. It never specifies how many there are to find, which is weird considering the original game was called Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which is a subtitle that they ditched from this brand new remake. So that, combined with the fact that they only mentioned how many there are here, combined with the fact, as Jake pointed out in our in-depth analysis posted earlier, that one of the star pieces, being this one right here, isn't even colored like in the original game. There is no pink star in the original game. Makes us wonder, are there more stars to find this time? Again, this isn't proof one way or the other, but it is a little bit more, a sprinkling a little, a little more potential evidence of maybe the fact that there is more stars to find, that there are more stars to find. But there we go, everyone. That's just a look, a quick overview of the uh, new picture. I say quick overview. There isn't much more that's gleaned from them from what I can tell. But it's just, I just wanted to go through them, but I'm so hyped for this remake. It's a remake I never thought would exist. The fact that we're finally getting Geno again, you know, it, after all these years of neglect, seeing him again in HD, oh, it just warms my heart. So I can't wait. But there you go, everyone. Thank you for watching. And of course, you can check them out for yourself in the link in the description below. Otherwise, let us know what you think of these, of these new details and of the game in general. Are you as hyped as I am for it? Let me know the comments. With everyone, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. And make sure to watch our full analysis linked on the screen right now. Tons of great details in there, in there that you probably missed. So go give it a watch. With everyone, I'm Al Breath. Clearly, we'll catch you later. Bye.